OPEC members gathering in Vienna. It could end up being a landmark meeting that reverses nearly two years of lower production. Brian Sullivan joins us from Vienna with more. Hi, Brian. Hey, Melissa. Yeah, thank you very much. We're outside OPEC's headquarters here as it heads into the nighttime. And yeah, certainly it could change the, the whole course of the last couple of years. Here are a couple of headlines we've gathered over today and yesterday in our reporting from a seminar. The meeting, of course, is tomorrow, as you said. You might as well call it ROPEC because Russia, not an OPEC member, but they loom so large, they're kind of a part of that. Really no debate anymore about whether or not output is going to go up. Pretty much everybody we talk to agrees to that. It's a question of how much and how much Iran caves. India also looming large. You know why? The dollar has gone up. Gas prices have gone up. So Indian consumers are out of their minds frustrated. They're frustrated as well. Let's bring in Bob McNally of Rapidan Energy Group here to talk more about what he thinks is going to happen, which is what, Bob? Well, like you said, Brian, there is very little doubt about what's going to happen in terms of barrels. Somewhere within 100,000 barrels a day of 500,000 barrels a day is coming on the market. 2Q to 3Q. Saudi's going up. UAE's going up. Kuwait's going up, Russia's going up. So what are they debating in there? They're debating about what they're going to say or what they're going to write in the communique. And the reason for that is because of someone who's not here, President Trump. <laughs> President Trump has really motivated the Saudis to want to send a signal, gasoline prices are heading down this summer. And the Iranians have said, we're not here to help you with your American problem. We don't want to be part of that. So they're debating whether to say that production is going but up. But do you think that Iran is going to cave because they made some very strong statements? Okay, yesterday the Iranian OPEC governor told us that if they go away for the deal, it's like Trump walking away from the nuclear deal. He compared the two. Iran's going to have to compromise. That's what people think. And, you know, they're debating it right now. Zangane, the Iranian oil minister, is going to have some words to eat if he signs a statement tomorrow saying production and is going up. And you think he's willing to do that? I think he might be, but he's going to have to get something for it. He's going to have to say, look, I want you to express solidarity with these sanctions being put on me. I want some, I want some love from my brothers in OPEC. He also may say, I want our yeah. quota to go up as well. So he's going to ask for some things. The question is, will the Saudis and others give it? All right, well, we've got to think about it tonight. We'll be back. We might as well just sleep here. You bet. Right? Bob, Bob and I, Rapid Energy Excellent. Group. So, guys, back to you. Here's the thing. OPEC today suggested that September, which is kind of this boring technical meeting, is now going to be a real meeting, which means that could indicate Iran will cave, and they're giving it a couple of months to kind of see how it plays out. I guess it's kicking the oil can down the road. More drama tomorrow. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.